Hello and welcome to the AFC Championship game here on our Houston Texans franchise in Madden 2003. We're trying to get back to our second Super Bowl here in the five seasons that we have played so far. This is only the second time we've ever taken on the Miami Dolphins. And this is shaping up to be a great matchup. The Dolphins 11-5 on the season. And the Packers, they were the top team in the NFC and the Panthers were third. The Eagles, of course, choked again. So we're going to see the top two teams in the AFC face off and two of the top three uh, teams facing off in the NFC Championship game. Now the Dolphins there without two of their starting offensive linemen, which is a huge loss. They're both over 90 overall. Leon Searcy will play in this game and so will Billy McMullen. Back deep to return, Corbin Guthrie and Dante Hall. Guthrie will return this from the one yard line. And he's going to take it right up the middle and jukes. Nice juke move. Breaks a tackle and gets up past the 30-yard line. So a great return. And Kiwan Ratliff has injured his elbow on the play. He's done for the game. Carson Palmer going to roll out right side. He needs one yard. And he's going to pick up the first down, about a five-yard carry. Palmer using his legs a lot this season. Here's Larry Johnson juking a couple times. Carrying a defender. Picks up eight yards. Johnson statistically had a great season this year. If you don't count all of his fumbles, he fumbled the ball six times, but he did have 20 touchdowns on the year. Palmer pressured. He is dropped. That is big. Vince Wilfork out of the Miami Hurricanes. And he didn't go far. He went from the Miami Hurricanes to the Miami Dolphins. So he stayed home. Second and 12. Palmer going to throw it out of the shotgun. Hit as he throws. And I don't even know what happened on that play. It looked like it was intended for Sonoris Moss. And he never even looked at the ball. And it was intended for him. He just never even saw the pass. Cody Pickett tosses it out to Ricky Williams, who jukes and picks up about nine yards. Very nice run. We've been out of traffic. Third and inches. Ricky Williams is stuffed in the backfield. He loses a couple yards, and the Texans will take back over. Larry Johnson carries it left side, cuts it back towards the middle, jukes, and gets to the right side, out past the 40, the 35-30. All the way down to the 23-yard line. A fantastic run for LJ2K. Great run from him. One of the best we've seen all season from Larry Johnson. First and 10. Palmer is sacked immediately off a corner blitz. Johnson never even saw him. Palmer going to throw it right side, rolling out. And Palmer's going to take off yet again past the 25. Tries to juke out the defender. Fumbles the football. And the Miami Dolphins will recover it. So we are still without points here in the AFC Championship game in Houston, Texas. Third and 13 for Cody Pickett and the Miami Dolphins offense. Here's a nice catch by Carter, but he is about six yards shy of the first down. So on fourth and four, Miami punts the football away. Sammy Parker back at the 40-yard line. He's got the sideline, past midfield, past the other 40, and out of bounds at the 32-yard line. So great field position for Houston to start this drive. Palmer going to roll out right side. And still waiting. Finally finds a man open. That is Sonoris Moss. And he'll pick up the first down. Second and six. Now less than a minute remains here on the first. And Billy Miller comes through with a touchdown. The second uh, season for him going to the Pro Bowl. And he has another touchdown here in the postseason. Cody Pickett back on offense. Deep shot left side to the rookie wide receiver, Roland. And that's first down to midfield. Second and six now. Pickett, pump fakes, wide open. Chris Chambers, past the 35, Jukes, past the 20, all the way down to the 19-yard line. Andy Stump, the head coach for Houston, not happy. We've seen this all season. This poor secondary getting burnt like toast. Pickett going to throw it again. He is sacked this time, though. Will Smith, defensive end out of Ohio State, comes through for the sack. He had five on the season. Big play for the defense. Makes a third and 15. Pickett taking a shot left side. It's caught by Roland, and he's going to coast into the end zone for the touchdown. My goodness, the third and 15, they get a score out of it. Entrell Roll, I'm not sure what happened to him. He got turned around a little bit, and he got beat by the rookie, who's having a fantastic game already. So Miami ties it up. It's 7 all. And here is Willie Parker getting a carry right side. Picks up seven or eight yards. Third and eight now, Palmer pressured immediately, hit as he throws, but he finds Randy Moss, the big balls for the first down at the 39-yard line. And the Texans now going play action. 
Palmer has all day, and he finds Reggie Wayne open, and he's going to get it all the way down to the 37-yard line of Miami. Second and five. Palmer taking a shot towards the end zone. Randy Moss is wide open. He split the defenders, and that was just way too easy. And a perfect throw from Carson Palmer. Caps off the drive with a touchdown. 14-7 now. Houston on top again. Pickett, right side, comes out throwing to Chris Chambers for the first down. Pickett going to sling it again. Left side, rolling. The rookie is just destroying Entrell Roll today. And they'll pitch it out to Ricky Williams. He's got the first down and more. Nice spin move up to the 35. And they're going to keep throwing it with Cody Pickett. And he's got Ziegler, the tight end, for an eight-yard pickup right down the middle of the field. Pickett again going to throw it right side. Wide open is Ziegler for the first down. Pickett just throwing dots across this field right now. And he's going to throw again. Left side, rolling the rookie inside the 10-yard line. I'm pretty sure he's got over 100 yards receiving already. And here is Ricky Williams with a touchdown reception. So a great play from the running back out of the backfield. Great awareness for the quarterback to see him open in the flats. The Texans go three and out. And the Dolphins are driving again with 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Nice pass out to Chris Chambers. They're going to throw it to Chambers again. He's taken down at the three-yard line. And Miami will kick a field goal before the half ends. So it is 17 14, Miami Dolphins on top. Who is going to come away with the victory, folks? Who wants it more here in the AFC Championship game? Houston trying to get back to the Super Bowl for the second time in the last three years. 200-plus yards of offense for Miami, though, and Houston struggling less than 100 yards of offense. But here's a nice kickoff by Goskowski, and that will be a touchback. So, Miami coming out slinging it already. Rolling again. This man is wide open every single play. Entrell Roll gets injured, but he does return in a couple plays. Whitaker gets beat by Roland. It doesn't matter who they have on him. Roland, what a game for the rookie. Pickett going to throw again. This time right side to Chambers inside the 10-yard line. Tillman and Taylor combined for the tackle. Third and goal from the seven yard line. Pickett just keeps throwing it. This time he's picked off though. Charles Tillman, and that is his 11th of the season counting playoff interceptions. The Texans desperately need a score here. Palmer rolling out, he's gonna take off. He's got the first down and more going out of bounds. Now he cuts back to the inside and slides. He has the first. Now third and seven. Palmer stays in the pocket, takes off, has another first down with his legs up to the 47 yard line of Miami. He's averaging nine yards per carry. Palmer going to throw it again. No, he is tracked down by Jason Taylor. That is the third time Carson Palmer has been sacked today. Second tackle of the game for Jason Taylor, veteran defensive end out of Akron. Palmer going to throw it again. Look at the offensive line all day to throw. He finally takes off, and he is going to outrun the defensive tackle, and he's going to pick up about eight yards, making it third down and ten. Palmer, pump fake, deep shot to Randy Moss, and he can't come away with it. He had it in his hands and got hit and dropped it. So the Dolphins now with a chance to take a two-score lead. Ricky Williams picks up seven up the gut. And they're going to keep feeding the beast. What a spin move. Pass Sean Taylor hurdles the defender and gets the first down. Pickett throwing it again. Left side. Chris Chambers has it up past the 45 of Miami. Andy Stump shaking his head on the sideline. Nothing else he can do. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. Miami on top 17-14 to over the 15-2 Houston Texans here at Reliance Stadium. And they are in danger of losing this one right now. Chris Chambers, another catch. Cody Pickett can do no wrong throwing the football today other than that interception. But Chris Chambers, Roland, they're just getting wide open almost every single play. Pickett, again, right side. This time Ziegler, that's his third catch of the game. Second and three. Williams on the toss, and he drags Sean Taylor forward for the first down. Six minute remains in the game. Pick it off his back foot, connects with Roland again. What a throw, rolling out to his left, throwing back towards the middle. That's going to make it first and goal. And Eddie Freeman with a huge tackle in the backfield. That'll make a second and goal from the nine-yard line. Pickett throws it, that pass is deflected away. Great play from Entrell Roll. Third and goal, they're just going to keep it on the ground here. Ricky Williams taken down at the five-yard line, and we're going to see Alindo Mare on for another field goal attempt. 
And the kick is up, and that is right down the middle. The most accurate kicker in the NFL right now. That was a 14-play, 80-yard drive. It took 409 off the clock. Texans with a chance to take the lead here with a touchdown. Larry Johnson picks up five yards. Actually, they give him credit for six, and they're going to keep feeding the beast up to the 39-yard line. First down, Houston. Four minutes remain. Palmer going to throw it. Randy Moss is wide open on the left side at midfield. Past the 40, down at the 37-and-a-half yard line. That finally gets Houston over 100 passing yards today. Palmer puts Johnson in motion right side. Hot routes him. And he is wide open, chucks it up to him, and he has it down inside the five-yard line. That was a great play, a heads-up play from Carson Palmer to put his halfback out there and create a mismatch, and then to do a nice hot route, and he was just wide open. Michael Bulware, the outside linebacker out of Florida State, didn't stand a chance against Larry Johnson's speed. First and goal, 2.41 to go. Larry Johnson jukes to the outside. He has the score, and the Texans now can take the lead with an extra point. Third and seven for Miami. Pickett's going to throw the football. No, he is sacked. That is Eddie Freeman on the sack, his first of the game. He led the team in sacks this season. Now the Texans with a chance to win it. They got to get a first down here to end this game. Larry Johnson taking down, picks up three yards. Miami calls a timeout there first. Johnson, another carry up the middle. Picks up two or three more yards and Miami calls a timeout. They have one remaining. Third and five, shotgun formation. Texans gonna go draw play to D'Angelo Williams. He uses his speed to get to the outside, reaches for the first down and he has it. First down, Houston, and they are gonna run the clock out and the Houston Texans will return to the Super Bowl for the second time in franchise history. They are AFC champions, folks. What a huge victory. Cody Pickett played a fantastic game for Miami today. It just was not enough. They had to settle for a couple field goals. If those were touchdowns, this is a, a two touchdown game. But a huge win for Houston. Andy Stump trying to win his second as a head coach. Larry Johnson, 106 yards on the ground, 36 receiving. Less than 300 yards of offense for Houston today. We're going to take a look at the stats here and then see who the Texans are going to be facing here in the Super Bowl. It's either going to be the Carolina Panthers or the Green Bay Packers led by Brett Favre and Amon Green. Either way, it's going to be a really exciting game, a great matchup. If it's the Green Bay Packers, we're going to see two 15-2 teams in this game. Well, two 16-2 teams in this game. So that'll be fantastic if we face the Panthers. Of course, they've got Steven Davis at halfback, Musi Muhammad, Steve Smith. I'm not sure who their quarterback is. Actually, I do know who it is. It's Eli Manning. I remember we traded our first round draft pick um, with a player to Carolina for Charles Tillman and Carolina's first round draft pick. And that is the draft that Eli Manning was selected with our pick. And with the Carolina Panthers pick, we selected Sean Taylor. And he happened to have a 99 overall. And I think that trade worked out quite nicely for both squads. As you can see, the Panthers are trying to get in the Super Bowl right now. So Eli Manning must be doing something right. No forced fumbles or fumbles recovered today for the defense. No surprise there. We had one fumble recovery on the year. Defense hasn't really been known for causing a lot of takeaways. Charles Tillman has the majority of takeaways on this defense. Sammy Parker, 28-yard punt return today. That was a fantastic return. Let's see who we're going to be facing in the Super Bowl, folks. It's either going to be the 12-6 Panthers or the 15-2 Green Bay Packers. And we will be taking on the Green Bay Packers. So we have two 16-2 teams facing off. And they beat the Panthers pretty soundedly, 31-13, to an 18-point victory. And the matchup is set, folks. I will see you guys next Monday with the Super Bowl and the final video, sadly, of our Houston Texans franchise. You can see the overalls, 95 overall for each team. Nobody really has a clear advantage. It's going to be a great game, and it's going to be a sad day at the same time. But I'll see you guys next Monday with that one. Take it easy.